Where are we off to today then? So today we are in Fitzrovia. So I'm off to go and support an artist friend who I just met uh, on Instagram. Uh, we've been chatting and stuff and she's got a show. Her name's Erin Bird and her artwork is literally amazing. It's like the most intricate um, abstract work that you'll probably see. So we're off to go and support her. I think we think it's good to like network and like just meet other artists and just because you never know what kind of like tips and bits and pieces that you're going to pick up, you know? Do you take like inspiration from artists like this? It's almost giving me like a ideas of how I could present my work if I was to ever get to this level, do you know what I mean? Where it's just kind of like nice and minimal. She's about to make us a help. To be fair, that's one of my favourites. Oh. Um, the red one upstairs as well. Thank you so yeah. much. But yeah, the marketing side of it gets uh, easier. The whole learning curve is an artist. In, in what respect? Well, I think making the art is one thing, but then putting it out there is the other thing, and I think that's something they don't teach you at art school. No, um, definitely. Maybe you get that representation, you get that marketing at, um, from a gallery, but if you're an independent artist, like you've got to kind of learn the business side. Um, so what did you? Um, what did you actually do to like market this? Uh, so I had a press release written yeah. and I uh, created a web page, I did lots of Instagram posts, I posted on LinkedIn, which was, I think... So you were doing lots of social media thing as well, because I'm almost like... I know obviously we connect with my Instagram, but I almost see like there's a gallery artist, like as in like, because your work's so good. But marketing does come into it as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean... I think that gallery thing is really interesting because one of the reasons I did the show is to get noticed by galleries and one of the reasons I picked the location is because really these galleries are in the area so I wanted to be like I'm on your doorstep it's easy for you to come and see my work in person where my studio is out in the country but then when you see it in a white queue and when you see it presented that's some of the presentation it was my goal from the beginning of 2020 to do a solo show in London yeah. I actually prepared the work, like that was the first thing I did and I think that's probably where a lot of people are artists, that's our thing. And then I would try to find a space, I don't know if I should have found space first and then I chose the work, but that's just what my experience was. From a financial point of view, there's unknown investment to basically do this. Yes. Super yes. to yeah. put this on, so like, you've almost got to yourself. You got it. Well, so, yeah, I'm and it has like, well, so it is a risk, uh, but I think uh, last year I sold enough work to yeah. fund this. Yeah. That's what I tried to do for my business kind so of the way you, so, yeah, so the way you did it, you sold enough work to, be able to fund this, to then be rep to then be shown off by the gallery. Yeah. Why do you want to be represented by a gallery as opposed to like, if you're selling one, because I feel like most people want to be represented because they're not selling them. And you're all the opposite. I think that's such a good question. Mm. I think it's been a dream since I've been a kid to be represented by a gallery, but a good gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to do the marketing, mm. that's going to do, like, I'm not having any time for somebody to say, I'll, I'm going to take 50% commission of your work. And, yeah. and I'm like, no, no, you're not, because I can sell it myself. But if you give me the show, and the you, space, and you, and the, the been selling is on Instagram so far. Yeah. Yes. And like to interior designers and to um, with art consultants, I work for art galleries, who, but can place the work in you know uh, other commercial settings that are outside of the gallery, corporate buildings or mm, mm. hotels. I don't know, I haven't done any hotels, but, um, well, but it could be like that kind of thing, yeah, like yeah. a commercial. Is it worth it? But I think there's like levels. I think there's only a certain level you can get to mm. on Instagram. I don't know if you found so. I think you're right. Or all social media, of course. Yeah. 
I think there is a there is another. I mean, it's the market that I'm not aware of, but I kind of. You know, what do you mean by that? Well, the art market. I think the gallery is giving you the 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 new audience, the bigger audience. They're bringing you like the client list, the buyers. Where I think for us, like on Instagram, you know, then the buyers like yeah. come to us. But it's a different. I don't know. Maybe it's not a different buyer. I don't know. I, I have no idea. She's like, yeah, they do take 50%, but you yeah. can also raise your prices to a level which you yeah. can't necessarily get to right. on Instagram. Right. Or not that okay. I found anyway, I don't know. Yeah. With yourself, but like, they almost feel like this. Yeah, there you go. Well, I have to check when I go out. Because yeah. like, I want to be transparent about this yeah. as well, too. I, I want, like, uh, uh, I want art, for me, I think, for people co to come in, I want to know, like, how much that costs, or, like, that's how it should be. I think when you go into a gallery, and the galleries I want to work with, you don't get that information. I don't really like doing the marketing side. Like, I've been hardcore marketing now for the last three weeks for the show. I only have three it's weeks to do it. It's a lot. I don't think people it's a lot. understand, like, how... Full time. Like, yeah. We'll promote, and... What have you been, like, morning, night? Kind of yeah. Uh, like, 12 hours a day, I'm like, even though people are like, hey, come back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I think, and, but it's paid off. Well, it's paid off. It's, it's amazing. It's so, it's how have you found like being here? And have you, do you, you kind of learn something from this? Um, yeah, I think, yeah, it's been amazing to be here. Um, well, one, she's so nice. She's so nice. But also, I think it makes, it gives me like a vision of like what my work could potentially look like in a gallery space like this as well. Um, maybe watch out 2024, I might have a, uh, a second show, but no, it just, it's such a nice space. And I think that the way that she's presented her work as well, Erin's presented her work like so clean and kind of taking a lot of inspiration from that. So it's definitely been a day uh, well spent.